Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're going to be doing another work with me. I know I had one last week, we're gonna be doing another one this week because we have a ton of orders to get out. We are about two weeks before Christmas, so things have picked up like crazy and we're just trying to get everything out on time so that way people get their orders before Christmas. So that's the plan today. John went out a couple days ago and went and got everything cut. At least the current orders we had a couple days ago, he went and got them all cut and sanded and stained. And then yesterday we spent the whole day doing all the letters for the signs and just getting all the loose ends tied up and all that stuff. So um, everything is pretty much caught up. I think we have like 60 or more orders that we're gonna be packaging today. So that's the plan. I do need to glue a bunch of signs together. So that's what we're gonna be doing too and getting some ornaments with twine on them. And we have a ton of tumblers to do. I don't know if we're gonna get the tumblers done today. They don't have to get done today, but that is the plan is to try and get those done later. So we'll see. And then hopefully we'll have a bunch of the orders packaged up and ready to ship tomorrow. So that's what we're gonna be doing today and we're gonna take y'all along with us. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm printing out all my labels, or my labels. I'm printing out all of the invoices. If you guys didn't know how I do it, I do two per sheet. So that way I can just cut them in half and it saves paper and ink and all that good stuff. So the total count that we are gonna be getting out and packaged up for tomorrow is 65 orders. So that's a good bit in a day, but we're gonna get it done. All right, so on this table, we have all of the signs that need to be glued that are this style sign. All of them are stacked up on top of each other. Here in this stack right here, we have all of our plank signs, so like pine and the big signs that need to be glued up as well. These home signs right here are already finished. They're engraved, they're just ready to be packaged up. And here we have a wild John drinking his coffee. And as you see here on our table, we have all of our letters here. I'm gonna organize them now so it makes it a little bit easier to match up to each sign. All right, so here are all the signs. None of them are glued yet. We just have them matched up to where they go. Here's some of them. And here are the ones over here. We got some ornaments right here. More signs here on the table. We also have some right here as well. And here. So as y'all see, we're definitely running out of space. I know we talked about that in the last video, how we're having to kind of utilize the space inside of our home for all of these signs and they're large signs. So it's taking up a bunch of space. But the plan is, like I was telling you guys in the last video, is to expand and build an additional shop. So yeah, now we're gonna get to gluing and getting the signs assembled. So I know it's sped up, so it's hard to see, but during this time, I'm doing kind of a quality check of all of the letters and the backer and blowing everything off. We have an air compressor back there behind me. You can't see, but we are cleaning them off and I'm doing quality check and then gluing them on. So I know it's hard to tell because this is sped up. Like, I think this is actually a time lapse, but yeah, that's what I'm doing here. That's kind of hard to tell. All right, so John just went to go get the girls for me, thank goodness, because I still have to glue all these signs up. I've gotten a good bit done so far, but the day, I feel like it's we're losing daylight so fast. You know, that happens sometimes. You overestimate how much you can get done in a little bit amount of time. And so that's what's going on now. I'm gluing signs up. When he gets back, we're gonna finish packaging. He's already gotten all the ones that I've glued bubble wrapped, and then we just have to cardboard, cardboard them and get them wrapped up like that. Um, these bigger signs that we make, they take a little bit longer to package. Um, normally, you can do things, smaller things, like we, you could do hundreds of those in a day. But with these signs, they take longer because you have to bubble wrap and plastic wrap and then cardboard and reinforce your cardboard. So it takes a little bit of time. Usually, we have to de dedicate a whole day to packaging. So that's what we're doing today. But 
Yep, let's get back to it. I'm gonna keep gluing and see how much we can get done. I cannot wait until we get our second expansion of the shop built because leaning down like this, gluing things on has been killing my back and my neck. So I know that when we do put a shop in, I want some area that is kind of up above so I don't have to look down. Um, I'm not really sure how we're gonna do that. So if any of you have any suggestions on something that we can do for that, let me know. So I'm sorry that this video does not have a lot of entertaining content or me stopping and showing things and talking about things more in detail. It's just because this particular day was obviously very, very, very busy. We were really hustling trying to get these orders out because we really want to take that week or two around Christmas to spend with the kids. You know, they're off of school, so I like to plan some fun stuff to do with them. And so, yeah, I'm really just trying to get a hustle on these orders and get them done. But I'm going to definitely be planning more interesting work with me's here coming up after this holiday rush ends. Alright, so we are in the car headed to UPS. That is who we typically use for these big signs and we're trying to decide now between um, there's two branches where we live and there's one that's like a warehouse so you kind of like but we always have broken stuff when we go to that area but they give you a cart to take so you don't have to like load each one in and then there's the ups store which you have to like carry like only a few at a time in so it takes us like how many trips a lot of trips uh so we're trying to decide now i think we're going to play it safe and go to the ups store just because we we don't usually have broken stuff there i don't know it could be a coincidence but all I know is we always have a broken sign when we go to the other one and then the other store we don't. So that's what we're doing now. And I just wanted to say sorry for not talking much in the, you know, portion of the video where we were making the signs. Hey, it's bumpy on this road. It's because we were really hustling trying to get it all done and we did get it all done, which I'm really happy that we were able to do that yesterday because we got out 65 orders and we also have some tumblers. We, we didn't get those done yesterday, which I didn't think we would, but we're going to go home and do that later today. So I might include that in this video if we end up doing that, but that's what we're doing now. So we just left UPS and that was the most embarrassing. I don't know why. And we don't, we were talking about that. We don't even know why it's embarrassing, but today of all days we came, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning and we thought, oh, this is a great time to come. But we went in there and the line was out the door. So we waited in here for what, like 15 minutes yeah. to like for it to clear out. And then I was like, okay, let's just start bringing them in. So we were like scooting through people. It's a really tiny store, putting the boxes in the corner. And they're like, y'all can leave them there. We'll get them. And, I, and we were like, we're not leaving like all these people's precious like products just sitting here and risking them getting like taken or something. So anyway, it was just awkward. It was just awkward. My face was red. Really? I didn't even pay attention. I, I don't know. I get really embarrassed about stuff like that. But anyway. I don't know why we're like that though because I felt like ashamed or something. Yeah. I felt like a, like a wet dog. Out the, you know <laughs> yeah, it was I mean? awful. I don't know. It was just so embarrassing. And then I, I, we were like, okay, well, can we put them in the back? And they were looking around like awkwardly like, uh, yeah, it was just, it was just so embarrassing. But we got it done. It's done. Now we're going to the post office to drop off all the ornaments. Like, but like you said, though, the other one's easier because they give you a car. But like every time we've took yeah. something there, they've 
we've gotten multiple broken signs. It hasn't yeah. been like one. It's been like a lot. And this stuff's not cheap to make, and it takes a lot of time to make. And we package the heck out of them, as yeah. you see. We do what we can. Hey, tell me about the comment you got about packaging. It was like Fort Knox. Oh, yeah. Someone said, uh, wow, this is, uh, or opening it up was like Fort Knox or something like that. So, I was like, oh, I guess that's a compliment, sort of, that we yeah. package the heck out of our signs. But anyway, we're driving into the post office now. Oh, these South Carolina roads, man. If y'all see the bumps, sorry. It's just, the. I don't know if the roads are like that where you live, but here, it's terrible, isn't it? Yes, and we've drove to like Georgia and other states, and it's like you'll you'll cross the the South it's like Carolina literally border. You know that you're in another state. Yeah, because the roads are so smooth. And our here, they're awful. Keep going up higher and higher. And they're not doing anything with it. That's a whole nother story. It's ridiculous. But we're here. I don't know why it didn't just process until I was walking into the post office. <laughs> but when we were in UPS, one of the ladies said, "You're like Santa Claus," because we had all the boxes, and I and I said, "Oh," but then I said, "Ho." So I went ahead and said ho. So I went oh ho ho, and that was the most embarrassing thing. Why am I so awkward? Ho ho ho! I'm Santa Claus. Oh my gosh! I'm I'm the most awkward person. I swear. here we are getting the roto boss all set up and ready and lined up it's honestly extremely easy to use especially since we only offer this style tumbler in our um, shop currently it is the mars skinny steel 20 ounce skinny tumblers i love them so much and i love this roto boss so much i just wanted to mention that to those of you who have a laser if you've been on the fence about a rotary highly recommend them they are such a cool addition to having a laser so John's over there cleaning them off with some totally awesome and a magic eraser. Those are a great way to clean up that engrave. As you see, when it's engraving the tumblers, it can kind of leave some soot and different things in the engrave. So it's just kind of a way to clean them off and get them good to go. As you see here, this Emily tumbler, it looks black, but once we clean it off, it'll be pretty and shiny. But yeah, that's what we're doing. I think we had 21 or so orders to do of the tumblers. So that's what we were knocking out here. And they don't take long at all to do. I think each one is just a few minutes at the most, four to five minutes. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing here. 